Welcome back to another episode of Niger Athletics Weekly. This week, we're going to focus on the collegiate athletes who competed at the National Junior College Championships as well as the NAIA Championships out in the United States this past weekend. We're also going to preview some Nigerian athletes competing in the Division I NCAA Championships later on this week. First off with those National Junior College Championships, we saw Mercy Ntia Obong who competes for Cloud Community College. She completed a great double in the 60 meters and the 200 meters. First off in that 60 meter dash, she got second place in 7.42 seconds a great performance for her then she followed that up in the 200 meters running 23.68 seconds also getting second place here she was also joined by Rosemary Chukuma who competes for South Plains College she got sixth place in the 60 meter dash and then came back in the 200 meter dash and got third place there so great performances by both these ladies in the 60 and 200 meter double moving over to the men's side in the 400 meters we saw Victor Kalu who competes for New Mexico Junior College he came away with first place in that 400 meters championship win in 47.35 seconds and he just edged out the win over Caleb McRae who got second in 47.40 seconds and also in third place we saw Agarian Jackson who ran 47.44 seconds so really close race for all the top three guys here but again Victor Kalu coming away with that championship win in the men's 400 meter dash ending things off at the National Junior College Championships Onara Obumwagan who competes for South Plains College in that women's long jump and the triple jump she came away with two great performances first off in the long jump she got fourth place in 5.86 meters great performance for her there but she followed things up in the triple jump and really shined here came away with the first place championship win 12.82 meters to get that first place in the triple jump great performance for her in both of the jumping events now moving over to the NAIA championships first off we saw Ania Keme Alfonsas who competes for William Carey University she dominated the sprinting events getting double wins at the 60 meters and the 200 meters first off in that 60 meter dash she took first place in 7.30 seconds which is only five hundredths of a second away from the NAIA record which was set by Drew Levy back in 2013 that's 7.25 seconds so huge performance for her here then she followed up in the 200 meters winning in 22.63 seconds getting the first place by over half a second from the second placer so really dominant performance by Alfonso's here in the 60 meters and the 200 meters getting two championship wins finally on the men's side we have Emmanuel Ine who competes for William Carey University as well he also grabbed a championship win in the men's long jump first place in 7.58 meters great performance he just edged out the win by two centimeters over Thomas Jackson who finished second in 7.56 meters so great performances by Ine in that men's long jump now let's head over to the division one NCAA champs that will be going down in Albuquerque New Mexico starting on March 13th ending on March 14th. A couple Nigerian athletes are going to be contesting various events representing for their respective universities. Let's start off with Raymond Ekevo who competes for Florida. He's been on everyone's radar in this 2020 season. He's going in ranked number one in the 60 meter dash having run 6.53 seconds this indoor season. He's recently coming off the SEC championship win in 6.57 seconds. So he's been very consistent through this 2020 season. This is going to be his first chance to potentially win an indoor individual championship title at the NCAAs. Of course, outdoors last year, he won a championship win with the 4x1 as part of the Florida team who broke the NCAA record, but this is going to be his first chance to win an individual title. He's definitely going in as the favorite, so definitely keep a lookout for Echo Wolf. Now, still on the men's side, but in the long jump here, we have Fabian Edoki who competes for Florida State. He's going to be contesting the men's long jump, and he's going in ranked number 11 with a best of 7.86 meters. Great performances that he's been having throughout the indoor season season recently just won the ACC championships in the long jump last year at these division one championships he finished sixth place when he was competing for mid Tennessee state so he's definitely going for something bigger potentially getting into that top five so keep a lookout for Edoki in that men's long jump Finally, for the men's side, we have Isaac Odubesan, who competes for Alabama. He's going to be in that men's shot put. He's coming in ranked number 16 with a personal best of 19.54 meters in the shot put. He's been very consistent, hitting a couple personal bests throughout this indoor season. So he's definitely looking to improve upon that number 16 ranking he's coming in with, potentially getting into that top 10 or even better at these NCAA championships. Now, moving over to the women's side, there's three athletes representing Nigeria who will be at these NCAA champs. First off, Ruth Usoro, who competes for Texas Tech she'll actually be contesting two events at these champs the long jump and the triple jump and she's ranked very well in the long jump she's coming in ranked number four with a best of 6.57 meters really consistent in that long jump 
performance throughout the indoor season. Then in the triple jump, she's coming in ranked number five with a best of 13.49 meters. She's just coming off a double win at the Big 12 Championships in both the long jump and the triple jump. So she's looking to potentially get into the top three, maybe even better in both of these events at these NCAA champs. So definitely keep a lookout for Usoro. Now still in the field, we're gonna see Mercy Abire. She competes for LSU and will only be in that long jump, coming in ranked number eight with a best of 6.44 meters. Great consistency that she's been showing throughout this indoor season. Last year at the outdoor championships, she finished 13th in the women's long jump. So definitely looking to improve upon that performance and potentially get into the top five at these NCAA championships. Finally, we have Akobundu who competes for North Carolina a &T. We're going to see her in those 60 meter hurdles competing at these NCAA champs. Coming in ranked number 11 with a 2020 best of 8.08 seconds. So she's looking to potentially improve upon that. She had finished ninth place at these championships last year. So she's definitely looking to get into those finals, potentially make it really high at these NCAA champs. All right, so those are the highlights from the National Junior College Championships, the NAIA Championships, and a preview of the Nigerian athletes competing at the NCAA championships championships later on this week. Make sure you guys follow us on all of our social media so you can stay up to date with results and all the other content that we'll have up as well. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again for another episode of Nigel Athletics Weekly. Thanks.